Good morning, virtual learners! I'm so happy to see you all again today. We are now in the less academic quarter for this school year. And for reaching this so far, I'm so proud of you. Now, can you give yourself a pat on your shoulder and say, Good job! Keep going! Let us always remember, in any situation, education must continue. For our lesson today, we will be focusing on the following learning competency. Analyze how visual and multimedia elements contribute to the meaning of a text. Just a quick reminder everyone, participate in our discussion actively. Avoid unnecessary comments, learn and enjoy the lesson. Okay, let us check your attendance. Kindly type the word present, slash your name, slash the name of your school on our comment box for us to monitor the number of our virtual learners watching with us right now. Just like this. I will give you 45 seconds to do this. Timer start now. And remember, don't forget to take screenshots and you can also prepare the questions or clarifications that you want to ask later. Remember to be polite and avoid unnecessary comments while watching this live streaming. Please prepare your self-learning module, paper, and ballpen too. Now, learners, I have a question for you. Do you like story? What are the considerations in choosing stories you read? Do you look first at the cover or at the title? Or do you scan the images or the pictures inside the book? Now, let me share a story. Maybe you are already familiar on this story. To make this more interesting, I have here an ebook. Let's start. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs. One day, they decided to leave home and build houses of their own. The first little pig thought that straw would make a good house. He built the house very quickly and he was very pleased with it. The second little pig thought that sticks would make a fine house. So he decided to build his house out of woods. The third little pig thought that bricks would make a strong house. It took him a long time to build the house, but he was very pleased with it. One day, a big bad wolf came along. He saw the first little pig in his house of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He snarled. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. Then I huff, and then I puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the, the big bad wolf. So he huffed, and he huffed, and he blew the house down. The first little pig escaped and ran to join his brother in the house made of wood. But the big bad wolf followed the little pig to the house made of wood. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He snarled. Not by the hair of my chin chin chin, said the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff 
and I'll blow your house down. Roared the big bad wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The little pig escaped and ran to join their brother in the house made of bricks. But the big bad wolf followed the pigs to the house made of bricks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He snarled. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. He huffed and he puffed, but the house was too strong. He could not blow it down. This made the big bad wolf very angry. He climbed onto the roof of the house so that he could crawl down the chimney. The big bad wolf was in for a big surprise. The third little pig had been cooking a big pot of stew and splash the wolf fell right into the pot. The wolf was very shocked and he jumped out of the pot and ran straight out of the house. He never came back again. The three little pigs live happily ever after in the house made of bricks. The End Did you enjoy it? Now, I have the ebook and the text type of the same story, The Three Little Pig. If you are going to choose, which do you prepare? The text or the ebook? The first or the second one? If you choose the second option, let me ask you some questions. Do you love reading with pictures, with music, or to watch videos that can be found on the internet? Type your answers on the comment box. We can say that reading is more fun when there are colors, pictures, and design. It contributes to the reader's understanding by widening their imagination as they read. Let us talk first about visual elements. According to study.com, a visual element is any characteristic that we can see. It helps us to convert simple reading to an exciting reading where we can see or imagine what's happening in the story. Visual elements are included in the text to help the reader see what they're reading. This includes pictures, drawing, comics and cartoons, and diagrams. Next, we have multimedia elements. Multimedia elements combine many types of media, usually in be found of computers, audio players, tablets, smartphone, and other technology. These elements allow the reader to experience what they are reading through sight, sound, and sometimes even senses. The following are examples of multimedia elements. Videos, audio recordings, sound effects, graphics or animation, interactive words and images. These two elements can help us readers to analyze the meaning of the text. Here's how. Number one, to clarify the meaning of the text. Visual elements help the readers for better understanding of the story. In the story of the three little pig, this illustration shows that the three little pig and their houses we can assume that the story is about the pigs, pig's house, and wolf. This illustration also helps us to understand the story better. A video presentation or video clip can also help the viewers to understand the meaning of the text by allowing them to see the character's facial expression and the body language. Video also help us relate and connect the sequence of the story.
We also have audio recordings of the characters. It can clarify the meaning of the character's word. By hearing how the lines are delivered, you can tell the character's feelings. The tone of the voice and the narration also gives overall aura or theme of the text read. Number two, communication tone. Visual and multimedia elements reflect the writer's attitude toward the text. The writer's tone gives a hint of how the writers want to portray the story. It could be happy, sad, serious, comical, angry, and etc. Here are the different ways to know the tone of the text. And visual element, colorful, light pictures with light background. The tone means happy and light story. If it has dark background and fuzzy images, the tone is mysterious, serious, and horror story. In audio recordings, horror story, it is narrated with a deep and mysterious voice. In children's story, it is light, high-pitched tone of voice. The third one is enhancing imagery. Writers use narration to effectively describe the scenery of the story. Imagery is the language used by writers to properly describe a certain scene, appearance, or things which you can imagine based on the description. Visual and multimedia elements are helpful because it is letting us see or somewhat experience what the author is describing in his or her story. I have here a short poem. The title is A Dream of School Supplies by Kent Nesbitt. Let us listen and read it. Then after that, we have some questions to answer. Are you ready? A Dream of School Supplies I had a dream of school supplies where paper clips could talk, where poster paper hung around with marking pens and chalk. The stationery idled while the pencils madly raced, the clocks went round in circles, and the glue sticks merely paced. The binders were inseparable. They bonded with the tape. The workbooks exercised and helped the stencils stay in shape. Some calculators added to the numbers in this land. The music was provided by a singing rubber band. My dream was strange and truly cool, but this was even cooler. The dictionaries all looked up to me. I was the ruler. A Dream of School Supplies, copyright 2007 by Ken Nesbitt, all rights reserved. From the book, Revenge of the Lunch Ladies. Okay, now, direction. Read the poem, then answer the following questions. Circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what is the tone of the poem? A. Embarrassed. B. Relaxed. C. Surprise. Type your answers on the comment box. The correct answer is letter C. Next, we have number two. What is the message of the poem? A. Missing school. B. Dream come true. C. Fun with school supplies. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. Next, number three. Without the added audio record narration, the readers might think, A. The author is describing about playing. B. Believe that the author is confused. C. It is about a dream. The correct answer is letter A. 
Next, number four. If you read this poem aloud, how would you read it? A. Quiet voice. B. Modulated voice. C. Read as reading a story. The correct answer is letter B. Last number, number 5. Which of the following is a visual element that contributes to a text? A. A drawing of a character. B. Background music. Or C. Audio record narration. The correct answer is letter C. Now, learners, here is a summary of what we have learned today. The visual elements and multimedia elements. Visual elements are the pictures, drawings, comics, cartoons, and diagrams. The multimedia elements are the videos, audio recordings, sound effects, graphics, animation, interactive words, or images. Remember that visual and multimedia elements contribute to a meaning to the meaning of a text through number one, clarify the meaning of the text, two is the communicating tone, and number three is enhancing imagery. Okay, this time let's clarify and answer the question that you have in your mind. I will give you a minute to type it on the comment box. Okay, now I have the questions. Are visual elements is necessary when reading a text? Okay, it is not necessary to use visual elements or to have visual elements when reading a story. We include them in a text because it helps us to understand the text better. Next question. Which is better to use? Visual elements or multimedia elements? Visual and multimedia elements both reflect on the writer's attitude towards the text. So both of them are good in using of the text. Now the only difference of the only difference is multimedia elements are more interactive than the visual elements. And that's it. I hope you enjoy and understand our lesson for today. See you next class!